Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to cover how much and how often to water your plants. And this is a very common question everybody keeps asking. I see lots of comments under my videos such as lettuce video, carrot video, and potatoes videos. And everybody keeps asking how much I should be watering my plants and how, how often I should be watering my plants. But guess what? There's no set formula on how much and how often to water the plants. It all depends on all other conditions, such as your soil, your temperature, how much rain you're getting, how much sun you're getting, how warm it is, what kind of plants you're growing. So let's cover those. Number one, your soil. Now if you have sandy soil, it's going to let a lot of water go through the soil. It's going to have very high drainage. If you have clay soil, it's going to absorb a lot of moisture. So if you have sandy soil, you have to water more often. If you have clay soil, you have to water less. So it all depends on the kind of a soil mixture you have. Now you might have different types of soil. You might have sandy loam or a clay loam or some other types of soil. So the best way to find out how much moisture is in your soil is to use a moisture meter. So this is the moisture meter that I use. I have it on moist and let's check the moisture level in this container. I'm growing a cucumber here and I planted this two days ago and that's when I watered it. So let's check the moisture. It looks like it's completely dry. However, let me put it right next to the plant. Look at that. It's about 80%. It's at 8. It's 80% moisture level. Even if I'm at two inches deep it's about 40 to 50 percent at two inches deep however the container I grew this cucumber plant in is about four inches deep and the roots of this cucumber plant were all the way down to four inches deep so that's why I'm checking about four inches deep to see how much moisture there is and it's about 80 percent if you check it right on the surface you'll see the soil is very dry out however down at three to four inches the soil has moisture so i'm going to wait a little bit more one or two more days check it again and then water so if the moisture level is already at 80 to 90 percent you don't need to water there's already a lot of moisture in your ground so you only need to water if the moisture drops below 40 percent so this is a very good and very precise way to know the moisture level in your soil now after you check this few times you'll automatically begin to understand how often you should be watering your plants depending on your soil and depending on the climate or weather you're in so if you know it's very hot and depending on your soil, what type of soil you have, you'll know you should be watering every other day. Or if the weather is colder, the weather is becoming cooler, you'll know you need to water every four to five days. Now, if you don't have a moisture meter, you can always scratch two to three inch below your soil level and see how much moisture there is. You don't want to have so much moisture that if you pick up, you know, a handful of your soil and squeeze it and water comes out. That's very bad for the plants. It will make the water stagnant under the roots and it will drown your plants. Number two, temperature. Now, if it's very warm outside, obviously the soil is going to dry out much quicker. If it's colder, then the soil is going to retain a lot more moisture. So you might need to water more often on warmer days as compared to colder days. Also, the weather plays a very important role as well. If it's very sunny outside, well, the moisture is going to dry out much quicker. If it's cloudy or if it's raining, well, the weather is actually going to provide us with a lot more rain. Now, in fall, I love to grow fall gardens because in California, we get a lot of rain in, in fall all over the winter. So I plant my radishes, turnips, potatoes, all kind of fall and winter vegetables in October and sometimes I don't even have a need to water at all. Last year, I only watered my fall and winter vegetable garden twice, and that was at the beginning of when I first started planting. All throughout the winter, the nature provided enough rain, and I didn't have to water at all. The nature just grew the vegetables. Now, number three, it also depends on the kind of plants you're growing. Lettuce is going to consume a lot more water than some other plants. Now tomatoes, you might think, might need a lot of water, but if you give a lot of water to tomatoes, they're going to produce a lot of foliage and they're going to stop dropping the flowers. I did experience that last year. I was giving a lot of water to my tomato plants and I started seeing that the tomato plants were dropping flowers. So tomatoes do really well if you water deeply and you water less frequently. In our clays, we have clay soil here. So I only have to water my tomato plants once a week and I water very deep. I water at half a gallon an hour for at least an hour. So I have my uh, drip line emitter set at 12 inches. So each plant is getting about a gallon of water in an hour. Now the amount of water each plant needs depends on the type of the plant and also how big is the plant. 
when the plants are little, when they're little seedlings, they don't need as much water as compared to when the plants are big. When the tomato plants become over four to five feet tall, they need a lot more water when they're about six inches tall. So a general rule of thumb, for little seedlings or little plants, provide about a cup of water and only water when the soil begins to dry out. For plants that are bigger, water about half a gallon to one gallon per plant depending on how big is the plant and only water when the moisture level starts to drop below 40 to 50 percent. Now that leads us to our next point, number four. It also depends on how you're watering your plants. If you're watering deeply or if you're just watering on the surface. No matter what you do, do not water your plants from top down. Don't be standing with the hose and putting water on top of your plants. There are three main reasons to not do that. Number one, the water is going to make problem with the flowers. Watering from top down might make the flowers drop or it might make the pollen drop. Number two, watering from top is going to create a lot of moisture under the leaves or around the leaves, which is going to provide incentive for insects to harbor there or even breed there. So it'll increase the insect population or even fungus. Number three, Water droplets create little magnifying glasses, so when the sunlight hit, it might even burn the plants. So, watering from top is never a good idea. You can water your seedlings from top because you have lots of seedlings in one little tray and it makes it very convenient to water all the seedlings from top with a sprayer. However, when your plants become bigger and they start to produce flowers, that's when you should not water from top. That is when you should always water from the bottom. So no matter if you're growing plants in your garden, outside in your yard, or if you're growing plants in containers, never water from the top, always water from the bottom. And the best way to water is drip irrigation because it's the most efficient way to water and it allows the water to settle and penetrate deep into the ground and the water does not run off. Flood irrigation uses a lot more water, so there's a lot of wastage of water in flood irrigation. So always use drip irrigation and water very, very deep. So let's also discuss when to water your plants. Never water your plants during the heat of the day, during full sun. Always water your plants in the evening or in the early morning. So the plants have enough time to soak up all the moisture from the soil and they're ready for the heat of the day. So whenever you're wondering how much and how often to water your plants, always consider all of these factors. Pay attention to your soil, pay attention to your plants, and pay attention to all the factors involved and then water your plants. Depending on all of these factors, you might only need to water two or three times a week, depending on how hot it is. During the heat of the summer, you might need to water every other day. But you need to check your soil, you need to pay attention to how much moisture in your soil and how, what kind of plants you're growing as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.